Joel Landry with us here at the John Madola Show. We're talking to Hunsdale Wrestling. Uh, Joel, let's talk about what weight you're wrestling at this year. Yeah, I wrestle 189. Let's talk about the keeping up at that weight. It looks like you got a great frame for it, so I don't. you're not struggling too much with that part, are you? Yeah, I mean, a little. I mean, I'm trying to gain more weight on my battle back. from Like, I can go 174, so I'm just trying to maintain that weight at 189 and hang with those guys. Because other guys are coming in at, like, 191. They're all true 191, so just trying to gain that weight and keep up with them. Let's talk about your frame and, and being at that weight. You got a long torso to you, so you know you're probably gonna meet some blocks, some short yeah, little the, block guys. Yeah, that, those you guys know. Are, some of those guys are short and stocky. They're strong. Um, just like beating them fast with the technique is a big tiring them out. The first is a real big key point, especially at that state level. Um, just trying to tire them out in the first and then really start attacking. You can't get really tied up with them in the center because it's tough down there. So just getting them off angles and trying to create angles on it, it works out better. you got a lot of legs for them to shoot for. Absolutely. But at the same time, you know, you're using that quickness and, and different things that you do when you are tall like yourself. So talk a little bit about your style, how it's evolved, and, you know, the tweaks of it. Yeah, it's definitely evolved. When I started seventh grade, it was, you know, everyone starts somewhere. Um, but just working, grinding out technique-wise, um, just working shots. And I like doing a sweeps angle. A lot of, like, arm ties. Um, just working, trying to make create angles. That's a big thing in wrestling, and just that speed. If you have speed and you have some really solid technique, you can go for it. Let's talk about the, you know your teammates and what that experience has been like. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, my sophomore team, my junior team, those guys were veteran guys. So looking up to them as role models was really big, and those guys had a lot of pressure. You know, being that young on those teams was just it was a big deal. When I was a sophomore, I had to like prove a point to be there. And um, that was good for me though. That competitiveness was really big. Um, you know, everyone goes through through it. Um, but having like that role, those role models to follow, just being a senior now, it's amazing to be that one. You know you have it, you're capable of it. Tradition of Honesdale, the coaches, I mean. They yeah, have, it they goes have... absolutely so back so far, the pride for the program. And just remembering that and keeping those core values, is, it's really big. And um, that's a big part of it. You know, from junior high, I started in seventh grade, and my coach down there, they taught me the basics, and that's the fundamentals. And you carry that all the way up. But um, Chad Schumann and Ellie Sikoski, they, they grew me to what the rest of the Let's talk about your family, how important they are to you, and, you know, where yeah. they're at with watching you wrestle and making sure, you know, you're staying after your academics. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my mom, when I first started, she never wanted to watch wrestling. She's always, you know, afraid of it. Um, my dad was really with it. Um, he really bought into it too. So um, we went to Gracie's NEPA down in Elephant and uh, Little Mad Assassins down in Bavoka. Uh, but um, those really, you know, when you train year round like that, um, it improves you a lot. Um, Vipers is our home style club, freestyle kind of deal. And freestyle, it translates into folk style, so it helps you out way better. Um, but my family's been supportive all the way. Absolutely. How proud are you of this squad this year, what you guys have been able to accomplish? Yeah, I mean, they're a young squad. Um, coming off those past two years prior, um, these guys are young, but um, they they lived up to it. Um, they just grinded. They really just put their heads down and grinded. They didn't look at what was, you know, in front of them. And that's good. Like, you just take it step by step, week by week, because it's, it's daunting. It's a long time. So um, just making sure you perform when you have to perform. You're not trying to win or lose, you know. You never you never lose, you just learn. That's the mindset, and that's that's a great mindset to have. Um, it, there's no point in worrying about it, just trying to go out there and perform. How about your future? Let's talk about that. You're kind of pretty much set on what you want to do and why. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I live on a farm in, uh, up there in Hounsdale, and um, I, I just love working on machinery. So I'm going to Copaskill in New York, and um, I got a going to work for John Deere by Star Quick. That so, sounds pretty cool. It's awesome. Talk about, uh, you know, how you came up with that. Just like, hey, you know, we could use somebody, you know, that, that could work on some machines or... Yeah, you know. my, my dad went to this, um, like, orientation thing down in uh, the one in Dunmore. Five-star equipment. And then um, they said there was an opening on Kirkwood, so I went for an interview. They really liked what, you know, I had to show, so it's great. About life on a farm. Talk about, you know what it's like, I mean, you know, a bunch of Honesdale kids, you guys. Yeah, you know, I think it's a great base 
for anybody in life. Um, that's a great fundamental skill. You just you just work and work and work, and you're always doing something to try to survive. Um, we don't have cows anymore, but we had cows from 2005, 2019, beef cows. And we were just, I remember just every day fixing fence, you know, you're paying on hay, you're trying to make ends meet. You're just trying to make sure you get your hay in on time. You know, it's a battle. So. I'm glad you uh, you grew up and, and, and molded you into the person you are with yeah, that absolutely. work ethic. That's a great work ethic, and I think everybody, honestly, if they ever got an opportunity to do it, do it that way. Yeah, you can hear it in your voice. I, I wish you the best going forward. I think you're going to have a bright future. Thank you. I appreciate it.